Yeah, all right. That guy's gonna put a roofie in someone's drink. <laughs> All right, guys, give it up for the next comedian. Very funny gentleman. He's been on Funny or Die. Give it up for Patrick Quinn. Yeah. What's up, guys? I just ate two bananas. I'm fucking jacked up, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm jacked up. How you guys feeling? What's going on? You guys feeling good? Oh, that's so great. That's so great. Uh, cool. I'm poor. <laughs> Surprise. Who else is anybody else poor in here? Anybody else poor? Just me? It's a lot less, the people should be clapping, a lot more than that. That's, I can see a lot of your shoes, okay? That's how you fucking know. I'm pretty broke right now, you guys. I'm pretty broke. I was doing okay until I found out three of my best friends are getting married this year in Ohio. I'm in every wedding, so that sucks. Being, being nice is not that great, really, to be honest. My buddy called me over the weekend. He was like, dude. I want to do my bachelor party in Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe, man. He's like, you gonna fly up there or drive? I was like, bro, I'm probably gonna bicycle up there. <laughs> Put a joker in the back spokes and just up to the top on that Huffy game, baby. <laughs> he told me how much his wedding cost. I was like freaking out. And he was like, man, yeah, the food's a lot. And I was like, bro, I'm about to do a potluck wedding. That's what's gonna happen at our place. <laughs> Bring lasagna! <laughs> That's just kind of what that is, real fast. I don't really mind being broke, it's kind of okay. It's kind of okay being broke. You know, like we're following a passion, like a dream. Just like sucks going to a bar, like being a single guy, trying to like meet a hot chick, you know? I was at a bar the other day and I saw this beautiful woman and I walked up and was like, just asked her if I could buy her a drink. I was like, could I buy you a drink? And he's like, sure. And I was like, all right, thanks, I was just checking. I'll see you later, have a good night. <laughs> I live down the street from a Whole Foods. I went to go buy lunch yesterday. I watched, yeah, bro. That's the first time that's happened. Thank you for that. <laughs> Feel free to keep those coming all set, my friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, was at a, I went down to Whole Foods the other day to get lunch. Just walked into Whole Foods, just bought a can of beans for 79 cents. That was it. That was it. It's the poorest thing that happened at a Whole Foods. I just walked in there, got the beans, put it on the conveyor belt, and it just went down. It's like a metaphor for my life. It was just going down, and I was like, oh, I want it back, my life. <laughs> and then the cashier just got it, and she looked at it. She literally just looked at it, and she went, is this it? <laughs> and I was like, that's it! <laughs> and she just looked at me like, just take it, dude. <laughs> you need this. <laughs> and then I paid with a credit card. <laughs> 79 cents on the old Visa. I hate like using those like electric pads, like those electronic signature pads, you know? Cause it never looks like your name, right? You've never like written it went, yeah, that's my name. You've never done that before. You just write it, it looks like somebody who's like been starving and they're like, we'll give you food if you can sign your name. And he's like, I'll try. And it just looks like shit. It never looks like it. And I feel like they don't even care about that anymore. It's so, like lately all I do is just draw dicks on the line. <laughs> I'm only 30, that's what I do, I just draw. I just draw a dick on there, I just draw a dick. Cause like my, my hope, my hope is like one day, like a quality control checker just going through, they're like, everything seems to be looking pretty good. What the hell is, these dicks go back three years. Get in here, Tommy, we got a live one. <laughs> we got a live one in here. You guys dating? You guys dating? I wish you weren't any time. I just wanted to ask. <laughs> I'm on like Bumble and stuff. We're just lazy with dating, man. My, a lot of my buddies were like, get off Bumble, man, get off Bumble. Why is like the friends who already have girlfriends the ones who are saying you don't need it? He's like, you don't need it, man. I'm like, no, you don't need it. I need it. I need it. We're so lazy with like dating though. Like we don't really do anything. This is like a story, literally the other day I was in my kitchen and I was on Bumble and I was just sitting there just like waiting for like a hot pocket or something and like just swiping, just swiping. I came across this beautiful woman, gorgeous. Clicked her, I clicked her picture, looked at all five photos, okay? I went to her bio, read the whole thing. It had her Instagram handle, went to her Instagram and I was looking through there, I'm like this girl is perfect with the same interests. She likes outdoors and rocks. She lives in a house. She has a friend. And I go back to Bumble and I swipe her right and we don't match. 
and out loud I literally said, well, I tried. <laughs> Not really, man, I just double clicked the thumb. That's all I did, I switched an app. <laughs> we don't try anymore, man. Like our grandparents, they used to try, man. My grandpa went to war when he was 19, dated my grandma. And once a month, he could write a letter back to my grandma. He wrote it back once a month, Dear Sagnus. It's a great name, isn't it? Dear Sagnus, war is hell, but the thought of you keeps me going on. Love, Thomas. Sent him. That's October, November. Dear Sagnus, war is still hell. I got separated from my platoon and had to hide the body of a dead horse to stay warm overnight. The thought of you keeps me going on. Love, Thomas. Right? Like, that's trying, dude. That's, trying's not being like, yo, you guys got Wi-Fi here? No? <laughs> not day to day then, I guess. Have a good one. <laughs> We're just lazy, man. We're lazy people. Even with, like, traveling. I was sitting, I was literally sitting in my car the other day in Koreatown. I know, it's no big deal. And I was sitting in my car after a show, just sitting there on my maps, like looking at this map trying to figure out how to get home. And this young kid just like hops up and just gets in the back seat of my car and just sits down. He's like, hey. And I was like, what, what are you doing, man? Who are you? He just scared the shit out of me. And he goes, what? you're not Uber? And I went, do I look like Uber? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> So I was like, you're right, buddy, let's go. I just drove around for a little bit, got five stars, good conversation. His name was Alan, he had a cat. His cat's name was also Alan. That's when I dropped him off. That's too many Alans, that's just creepy. That was creepy, that's like murder shit, man. Plus, like, Trump's been cracking down. Dude, I don't wanna get in trouble for transporting illegal Alans around town, man. I'm not getting busted for that shit. <laughs> I flew Spirit home recently. You guys flown Spirit before? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's how you know people have flown Spirit. That airline is just... I've never paid for anxiety before. Have you guys done that? It costs $235 for anxiety. It's just so... Dude, if, if uh, McDonald's was like, hey, let's make an airline, that would be Spirit, dude. It's just the worst. You think it's gonna be cheap. You go on there, it's like, you wanna go to Rome? $8. You're like, okay, let's go. But they charge you for everything else. Like, literally everything. You want to print your tickets off? That's twelve dollars. You want to get an overhead bag? That's thirty-five dollars. They went on the flight, and I was like, "Hey, don't you guys need to do the uh, the security, like the uh, the safety videos?" She goes, "That's forty bucks. You want to come in the back here? We'll do over the seat belts in the back." <laughs> they don't give you like food or drinks or anything. They don't do that at all. At one point, they just walk through the flight with little baskets for collections. They're like, "Can you please help out? <laughs> Can you give to Spirit Airlines, please?" It was like church, man. It was the worst, man. It was the worst. But I'll for sure fly it again, hundred <laughs> percent. Because Spirit Islands is like bad toilet paper, right? It's like cheap toilet paper. You're always like, I'm never buying this shit again. I'm never doing it. And then you go to the store and you see how much the other toilet paper costs, and you're like, I oh, fuck, I'm buying it again. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's something new I wanted to do tonight. Sorry, let me see what this is real fast. Oh yeah, this one's good. This one's good. <laughs> This one's really good. I'm gonna end on this one. Uh, you guys like using Waze? You guys like Waze? I fucking love. Well, give it up if you like Waze. Give it up for Waze, man. I love using Waze. Waze is like the best. I love using Waze because it makes you feel like you're on a top secret mission all the time, you know? Like the weird routes it takes you on. You can live somewhere your whole life, and Waze turns right three times, and you're like, I'm lost for sure. No idea where I'm at. Like Waze is like the Liam Neeson of maps, you know? If you turn on Waze. You're like, okay, Waze, I wanna go to Taco Bell. Waze is like, I can get you there in 15 minutes. We need to go right now, go right now. Go straight for 500 feet, turn right, go one mile. Turn left, go 400 feet. Turn right, go 24 feet. Turn left, go four miles. Turn right, go a half a mile. Get on the highway for half a mile. Get off the highway. Get back on the highway for half a mile. Get off the highway, go straight for 100 feet. Turn left for a mile, turn right, go under that bridge, wait. There's two cops up ahead. Hey, do you like Home Depot? Because right now, never mind, we gotta go right now. Go straight for four miles. Turn right, go 25 feet. Turn left, go through this driveway. It cuts through. Trust me, I know him. Turn right, go 45 feet. Turn left, go off of that dirt road. I don't see a dirt road. It hasn't been built yet. Ah! 
And all of a sudden, like sitting in a field with cows. We're like, wait, I don't see a Taco Bell anywhere. Taco Bell? I thought you said cowbell. Go straight past the cow, turn right into the treadmill. I just said treadmill instead of window. <laughs> Classic dad. <laughs> I like when it rains. I'm from Ohio. You guys know that rain we had recently? All the rain out here? I fucking loved it, man. It was so great. I love the rain when it's in LA because nobody knows how to react to the rain in LA. Everyone just freaks out. Like Costco stopped selling discount TVs. They're like, what are we gonna do? Even the streets have no idea. They're like, let's just build a wake, the lake on Wilshire for a few days. Let's just do that. That will work. I was walking on the street the other day in Hollywood after I got out of work. And these two ladies are walking along, very LA ladies. And this is the story of the first raindrop, okay? They're just walking along, walking like 44 chihuahuas each, and they're like, oh my god. And they're walking along, talking about girl stuff. She's like, these are my new Lululemons, what do you think? And she's like, oh my god, I can see like right up your butthole, they're so tight. She's like, yeah, it's paint. <laughs> and they just keep on walking, and the first raindrop falls. She's like, oh my god, Troy, such a. Did you feel that? Did you feel. Yeah, I think I felt, no, shut the fuck up, Becky. <laughs> We're being hunted. And all of a sudden she gets down like a gazelle on the prairie. She's moving slow, the next raindrop comes. <laughs> Run, bitch, it's rain! And she takes off, runs into the street, and gets nailed by a car. <laughs> I was like, what? I've never seen anything like that. And she's laying in the street, and the guy was in his car, and he was shaking, he was like in pure shock. And I was just like, oh my god, is she dead? And the guy looks over at me, and he's like, oh, and I go, you just hit that woman, man, from a raindrop, what are you gonna do? And he goes, oh, is it fucking raining? And he just takes off, and thank you so much.